this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Today our project is this little covered notebook. I bought these little notebooks from Wilco in the UK, quite cheap, and I've just used our cardstock and DSP and some of our labels um, to cover them, to make them look, just pretty them up a little bit. Really nice to pop into a handbag, really nice size. And these will be my gift um, for my customers who shopped with me in February. This is going to be my customer gift this month. So let me show you how to make them. So you're going to start off with a little notebook. Now the measurements will decide on what colour your notebooks are. Um, this book is uh, called A Handy Jotter from Wilco's in the UK. Ever so, ever so cheap. I can't remember how much they were, but really not very much money. Um, and they're quite a nice little notebook. Um, but it, I know the measurements of these, but you'll have to adjust according to the measurements of your notebook that you can get. Um, so I'm going to take a piece of... Oh, the, both the papers that we've used here are from the Best Dressed um, papers from the new mini catalogue, the spring catalogue. Beautiful watercolour um, images of flowers. Um, some of them go with, with um, lovely lipstick. Some of them go with other colours. I've got a few of them here. I could quickly show you some of them. Beautiful, beautiful watercolour images. And on the back, either a very plainish pattern or some of them have pen and ink drawings of shoes and lipsticks perfume bottles so watercolor on one side and then either plain or pen and ink drawings on the other so it's dots on that side beautiful flowers on there really lovely patterns in these i love all of them i don't think a single one that i don't like of this pack handbags and stripes lipsticks dots and blackberry bliss and some so those are a few those aren't all of them but they're the ones i've got to hand here at the minute okay so let's start so we're going to start with a piece of lovely lipstick and we're going to cut it down to 8.5 because my my notebook measures eight so i'm going to cut it down to 8.5 so that there's a lip that man helps you to open it because otherwise it can be quite tricky opening a notebook if the the um, cover is absolutely flush and cut it down to 8.5 and i'm going to measure this one at 12.8 but like i've said you will just have to measure so you just need to allow a little bit for the the cover the spine and a little bit on the back so um you're very welcome to use my measurements but they won't be right for all notebooks obviously right and then i'm going to score this at 10.3 get rid of my cut blade there we go and 10.8 and that's going to be for my spine like so there we go and then I've got I've cut, already cut my piece of DSP which is going to is just a half a centimetre smaller all the way around from that front panel so my DSP measures eight by nine point eight centimetres and it'll fit on there right okay so we're going to attach that with tear and tape on the reverse and you do need to do this a little bit carefully otherwise if you don't get it placed right it won't look right so the, the, it's easier to do the back bit first oh i haven't um what i also need to do is burnish those folds there we go Been out and about today seeing daffodils everywhere it's absolutely beautiful i love it love it love it um, right, okay, so you're going to take the back of your notebook and butt it up so that you're, it's sent, so you've got the same amount um, left hanging over each side, which is quite tricky to do. Um, let me see if I can do that any better. This is, it seems to be burnished enough. There we go. Let's do that a bit better. There we go, that's better. Just make sure it is properly burnished and try and get it straight. And the same, equidistant on each side. Just take your time to line it up. Don't know why I'm making such a hash of this. It's not that difficult. There we go. And then press down there. There we go. Okay. And then I'm actually going to do the front cover with some Tombow because that will give me a little bit of wiggle room if I don't get it down properly the first time. So just cover your front cover of your um, 
notebook with some Tombow. You can do it with tear and tape if you're absolutely sure you're going to position it correctly first time. I'm not that confident. Right, so make sure you've got the, the spine bit pressed down and then cover your notebook and manoeuvre it so that it's straight. There we go. So there's our covered notebook and it's just got a little bit of overhang on each side like that, yeah? So that that um, means that it's easy to pick it up and open if it's got that overhang. Right, we're then gonna glue down our piece of DSP. So like I said, my DSP measures eight by 9.8. .8, so it's half a centimeter smaller or, um, than the measurements around the, on the, of the card stock on the front here. So that you get a quarter of a centimeter border all the way around which just gives you a nice little border. I do love this paper. Right, okay, then I'm gonna bring in my um, die cutter. I'm just gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna take a piece of Whisper White and I am using the Just A Note stamp from the Flourishing Phrases set. It's a set that I haven't used nearly enough, but I do use this stamp quite a lot. I love this Just A Note. It's just nice, nice font. Um, but I, the actual set, I really need to get out and use a bit more. Right, just gonna stamp that in Memento Black. And then I'm gonna position my die. So the dies I'm using, i show you my little books. These dies, which are stitched all the way around, are from the Stitch So Sweetly set. I, I love this set. I've used it so much. So many lovely combinations of dies you can make here, of layers. Um, okay, so I just want the little one for the minute. And I want to line this up so that the Just A Note is straight and centered. And I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of washi tape and hold that in place while I push it through my die cutter. And at the same time, I'm going to cut the other one out in red. So just need a little bit of red cardstock so I can just trim this off. Don't need to put the whole bit through. There we go, and then I can do both die cuts in one hit. There we go. Wonderful. There's my just a note. Oh, if I can get it off the board. There we go. You can see how, how used my boards are. Um, there we go. Pop my die cutter down again. And then, so this one is going to layer onto this one. Just a note. With some Tombow. So these are quite little, quick, quick little gifts to make. If you needed to make, they'd be great for a craft fair or something. Um, just little notebooks to sell, just a bit prettied up. And like I say, they're quite cheap to buy. I can't remember. I wouldn't be surprised if they were just 10 or 20p each. So, you know, if you were charging a pound for each notebook, that's quite nice, healthy profit. Take off your materials. There we go. And that's gonna go on there. And then the last little touch I'm going to make is I'm going to bring in some of our glittered enamel dots. And I'm using, although we've used lovely lipstick, I'm actually using the Melon Mambo ones here. Um, so I'm going to do a big one. I haven't used one of these big ones before, but I'm going to do a big one because I've got a big space down there. And then I'm going to use a little one at the top here. And a medium, one of the medium ones over at the side here there okay and we're done there we go so i've now got a set of three i've got a whole stack of these to make for all my customers from february which i would love to do like i say they'll be very quick to do uh, it won't take me take me about a couple of hours this afternoon to finish all of those and the cards that i'm sending out as well so hope you like today's project don't forget that if you like the paper or any of the dies you want to buy anything now is a good time to purchase because you'll get um a free gift if you spend over 45 pounds you can choose from patterned papers there's some twine and sequins there's loads of stamp sets there's some dies if you wanted to spend a bit more you have to spend 90 pounds to get the dies there's also the little flower punch if you wanted to spend 90 pounds so lots of things to choose from um so um, I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll be back soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye.